did to put some talc in there this time as we've had some problems in the past with uh, gold sticking a bit in the bottom. Must be uh, the way it sticks together with the Yeah, it'd be good to do with the charges, I'm guessing. So there's the uh, two bits of the American. There's the retort set up with the pan at the bottom to catch the mercury. Um, I'm not going to film us heating it just because it's been the tedious process, but we'll show you how we go. Mercury yet, but because we're not using a great deal of it a lot of the time, it'll get stuck in the pipe and we'll have to repeat it. Let me see what happens. Alright, this is what we're left with after the burn off in the retort. I think for future references, I won't try talc and powder in there, it did not have the desired effect. What we've ended up with, just let me get my tweezers. It's a lot more powdery than last time we did it. If I can find my camera. Oh my god. It's come up very dull almost. Let's try and focus. I don't know if you can see that. Definitely doesn't have the shiny characteristics of gold. At the moment it seems to be almost powdery as if somehow the talcum powder's absorbed in with it a little bit. It just doesn't really act like gold normally acts, but I guarantee you that's the gold. You see that true powdery? Never had that happen before. So what I'm thinking now is I'm going to have to throw it in a crucible and heat it up just to try and tidy it up. But we're getting there. But this is why I don't use mercury generally to clean up. It's just more of a hassle than anything else. Let's see if we can turn that into some more gold looking gold. Okay, this is the um, bit of slag we're left with after we just threw it in the crucible and heated it up. Uh, you can see the gold inside the slag. Little ball, not big. I have a feeling we've um, Lost a bit of gold somewhere along the way, but we'll split this open in a minute and wait and figure out how much is there. Like I say, just a little experiment. And, um, yeah, and that was the gold in Mercury. Okay, so that's what's left of the borax slag. As you can see, I didn't quite get all the um, powder out before when I did the melt, so there's still a bit of powder there. I can find my hand. That's the gold we managed to clean up. 
Still a little bit of slag on it probably. Unfortunately my calculations were extremely off. This only ended up being about 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.8. So I know there was at least a gram of gold in that mercury. When I got the amalgam ball, I didn't really squeeze all the mercury out. I just got what came out as a ball easy with suction tweezers. So maybe I needed to really try and get a cotton ball or something and push all the murk out. But it's there for another day. I've got a nice, another little gold ball, which will go with our other buttons for now. Although, I think we're going to melt them all down soon. Alright, that's all for now. I just thought I'd better show quickly the mercury we recovered. Um, it's just in the same pan with the slag. We actually had to smash the retort a little bit to get it out. We didn't get it come out the end pipe. It stayed up in top inside the pipe. Seems a very flawed retort we've got. Both times we've used it now we haven't actually had any mercury come out. It's just got lodged in the pipe which does not seem right. So that should be all for now.